Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gebo the Shaman, and today we are talking about what happens when we have K2 placed in the 7th house in your birth chart. So, uh, K2 in the 7th, what happens then? Uh, so before we get into all that good stuff, i just like to let you guys know that I am a Vedic astrologer. Not a, not a Western astrologer, but a Vedic, but a Vedic astrologer. Um, so I have a bunch of products, courses, services, a bunch of things that I am uh, putting on sale right now. So you can check out all my massive bundle sales below at GebbleTheShaman.com. You can check out all my products, courses, services, everything that I have to offer over here, including astrology certification course, astrology readings, and birth time rectification. And energy healing, career coaching, life coaching, qigong courses, all kinds of stuff. So then we have, um, so yeah, that's those are all my products and services. So check out gebotheshaman.com if you'd like to check them out. All right. So so what is K two in the seventh house? Well, K2 in the 7th house. So in order to understand this placement, we need to understand what K2 means. Then we'll talk about what the 7th house means. We put them together and create our own analysis from that. So what is K2? K2 is the planet of detachment. Rahu is attachment, wanting to go into the into the material world and enjoy and indulge and consume and uh, and you know be addicted to the material world and K2 is detachment the opposite of that it says K2 says yeah yeah I've already been there I've already done that it's old and the material world is you know I got as much as I want as I wanted to get out of it and now I'm done. So K2 is detachment. He wants to go into the spiritual world. Rahu wants to go into the physical world, the material world. And K2 wants to come out of it. So, so K2 is like isolation, meditation, spirituality, uh, things like that, like being a monk, going and and forsaking all your, you know, just just selling all your possessions or giving them all away, and and going and being a monk and being away from others and not not having anything to do with this society. So, <laughs> so that is K two. Um, so what is, uh, the seventh house? Seventh house has to do with your relationships. This is your, your marriages, like marriage, long-term partnerships, uh, things like that, business partnerships. Anybody that you sign a contractual agreement with, this is the seventh house. Uh, this is the house of others, the house of the, um, yeah, just like, it's other people, it's uh, marriage contracts, marriages, partnerships, things like that. So what happens when we have Rahu, or sorry, K2 in the seventh house. Well, if we have K2 in the seventh seventh house, um, K2 is like, yeah, yeah, I've already been, <laughs> I've already done that, and it's not, it's not fun or new or interesting to to me. So, uh, this has the ability to make somebody an ascetic, um, make somebody celibate, 
uh, make somebody um, just uninterested in marriage or relationships or things like that. They're just totally uninterested. And, um, or it could be that they need to have a specific kind of marriage, partnership, relationship, something like that. Uh, it could be that they need to have that specific, uh, something that suits them. Uh, so, so yeah, it's, it just shows like an, a disinterest in, in communicating with other people, in, uh, doing business with others. Uh, it shows a disinterest in having a spouse. Um, so, so both your Rahu and Ketu placement are places of dissatisfaction. So, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's places of dissatisfaction and it's, uh, so the dissatisfaction of Rahu is like, I haven't, it's like, I haven't gotten what I wanted yet. And then Ketu is like, yeah, I got what I want, but it still didn't satisfy me. So that's the thing. That's the, that's the, uh, crux of this, uh, placement. It's like, um, learning that relationships can't satisfy you. Um, you know, it's almost like that codependent thing of getting your value from others. Uh, when you get your value from others, you devalue yourself. You, you want to get your value from others because you don't know how to give it to yourself. So, that's the thing. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it's a hard lesson to learn here, but, uh, but basically your, your whole karmic lesson in this life is to love yourself and don't depend on others to love you. Just love yourself and uh, get your value, worth, esteem from yourself and not from others. Why, so, so why am I saying this? So if you have Ketu in the seventh house, you'll have Rahu in the first house. So Rahu in the first house wants to make you an extremely independent individual where you are self-sufficient, you rely on your own resources, your own, uh, you know, stuff like that to make you happy. And, uh, your own, um, you know, the things that you can give yourself to make you happy instead of relying on others and what they can give you. So, yeah, this is, this is like the main thing. This is the main karmic lesson. So, Ketu in the seventh, uh, this also describes your relationship with your partner. So if you do have a partner, this means that your relationship with them will be, uh, could be kind of spiritual on the, on the high end, uh, on the good end, it could be very spiritual and very med meditative. However, on the low end, it could mean that they are not home all the time, that they are, you know, they could be at work, traveling, there could be infidelity, they could be, um, you know, all kinds of things, so, um, so, yeah, um,
So this is basically what what Rahu and Katie does. It's like it's so your partner could be very detached, very um you know, it would be one of those relationships where like the two of you kind of live together but you do your own things. It's not like a real relationship. It's uh kind of a detached relationship. <laughs> It's like uh, you share the same house, but you t live totally different lives. Uh, it's interesting. So yeah, it's it's kind of like almost like a marriage out of convenience, and uh, rather than actual like love or passion for each other, it's just kind of a mar marriage out of convenience. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> so that's one of the things that can happen for you if you have this placement. Alrighty, so let me see how I am on time. And I think I'm going to end it there. So thank you guys for watching and we will talk to you next time. So if you're interested in anything that I have to offer, then you can go to gabotheshaman.com. I do have my certified, uh, my astrology certification courses available now. And those are extremely good. They walk you through step A through step Z of how I do my own professional Vedic astrology readings. And they are very, very good, very uh, tailored to the client's needs and things like that. So, clients tend to get a lot out of them, even though they might not know uh, exactly what they're getting, they, they'll get a lot out of them, uh, because I do a very unique style of astrology readings. So, astrology certification course, when you pass my certification exam, I will give you your own uh, Vedic astrology website. So to become a, a professional Vedic astrologer. So that'll include like your own PayPal button and things like that. So check it out. It's definitely worth it to check out. And yeah, let's see here. So we have the Vedic astrology certification course where you can, you can take that course and make it into a business and take that as far as you'd like to go with it. You can be can be a side income, it could be a full-time income, whatever you want to do. And then we have the birth time rectification, so that is uh, really good for people who do not know their exact birth time down to the minute. Uh, it's really important to actually know your birth time, because if you don't know your birth time, then it's just going to be, you know, it's a crapshoot. Uh, when you go do your astrology chart, like you won't know what ascendant you are. It'll be, it's just not helpful to, to not know your birth time. So this is why I do my birth time rectification service. Uh, so then we have the career, I have career readings and relationship readings. They do with your Vedic astrology charts, as well as um, I do just a standard reading. I do career readings, relationship readings, things like that. I do also have my distance energy healing sessions available. So um, what I'm going to do is um, like I'll. Like, I, I currently have them on sale, and so, um, so they're on sale, so, so yeah, uh, so those are the distance energy healing sessions, and those are great because they tap into, like, your emotional body, and they heal you on an energetic level, which is also an, an emotional level. Um, and then we have the career coaching and the life coaching, so, so we have that, 
uh, that's great for people who are, you know, if you're struggling to see, you know, what you want to do in life and just kind of wandering by life without any path or purpose or passion or motivation, then uh, it's very helpful to have a career reading because that'll tell you exactly what you're supposed to do in your life uh, and kind of give you a, a heading and a direction that should be exciting to you. So check that out. And then we have the Ritual Magic courses, so uh, check those out, as well as the Emotional Awareness course, which helps you to touch, to uh, keep in touch with your emotions and, and really uh, go into how you're feeling, like, and stuff like that, so. Then we have the Ritual Magic courses. Oh yeah, well, we talked about those, and then we have the Qigong courses, so the Cosmic Qigong and the Self Transformation Challenge. This combines Kundalini Yoga, which you can see me doing right there, Kundalini Yoga with um, meditation, with uh, Qigong, with um, the lightning energy of the heart center. So um, this is a very powerful course that combines and syncretizes the three main, three main energy systems of the body and gets them working together. So check that out. And then we have this, which is the uh, Cosmic Qigong course, which is basically a beginner's level Qigong course, which um, helps open up the energy meridians and takes the energy of the body and brings it to the next level. This causes spiritual evolution, growth, and uh, a new, like, awareness, and things like that. Self-awareness and stuff like that, so check those courses out, and yeah. Uh, so if you want to see everything that I have to offer, you can go to gabotheshaman.com, alright? And like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will talk to you next time. Peace.